Welcome to the channel, guys. My name is John. I'm a professional EAFC coach. Today, we're going to be talking about how to basically break down a 900 SR player. I'm a top 1% player. I'm also a professional coach. Uh, and we were t we were at 1,100 yesterday. If you guys were in the live stream, we dropped our rank. We lost two matches in a row, but we were about 12 points away from the leaderboards on PlayStation uh, to get up into the top 200 in the world we would have been uh, stoked but we got a great video for you today this we're uh, we're going to show you how to keep a clean sheet against a 900 plus sr player and destroy them all right let's go ahead and get right on in to the video are you struggling to make and keep coins in eafc well now with foot alert the FC Mark is integrated with ChatGPT on the Foot Alert web app. You can ask Footy, the AI assistant, any question, and he will give you back an answer to make and keep coins and trade. Being developed by a top 100 EAFC trader, they have trained the AI to help you make coins in the smartest way possible. But that's not all it does. With new features being released every week and a flipping alert list to let you know when your coins have been made, you can get easy answers to trading questions every day. So check the link below and get started trading on FC with AI. All right, all right, all right. Well, welcome in and welcome to the uh, gameplay analysis. Um, I also want to let you guys know if you guys do need my, my personal tactics, you guys can. It's uh, it's actually really uh, they're pretty simple. They're actually in the last video uh, of this gameplay breakdown. So if you want me to break down my gameplay now or my custom tactics every time I can, uh, but uh, let's go ahead and go, get on into it. Uh, the first thing I like to always talk about, guys, is the other opponent squad because the squads do matter. Like you see how defensive this is a strong defensive uh, team right here. I uh, you know Foden's got weird defensive stats. He's got. I hate playing against Havertz as like a midfielder, so he'll probably be like a 4-3-2-1, or he'll be like a 4-4-2, and he'll be out wide type of thing. But something I noticed is he has Lucio and Ronald Arojo uh, and Kunde. So if he's playing Kunde out at right back, that's way better in my opinion. I hate playing Kunde. Kunde's probably like one of the top five most hated players by me currently. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Uh, idea for here is that we're actually going to be trying to close out this middle position when we're rotating over and so my wingers have to rotate so if you see Komen here and smith they're both going to be rotating and they're i'm just waiting for that to rotate there we go now we got it over so there's there's smith he plays over the top ah, bad position but we step through okay so here all the way to the striker first original thought we do have a lane now we're being patient through what I call the queen's position. Now we're being patient, 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 patient. And we almost get that one through. It looks like he's almost in a five at back. Um, but it may be deep lying playmaker. So we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, offside trap to throw off the uh, forward runs. There goes the big switch. We're already on it. He hits it right to us. I didn't mean to do that skill move, to be honest, 100%. Now we're in a flat position. We need to defend this zone right here. Good. There it is. Let him take the wing. And so now we need to get into the interior here. And we close that down all the way up. Now this is what we call a break point. A break point is the most important part of the game. It's when the ball goes from, um, it changes position into a, a strong uh, strong area. So in the next one second, one to two seconds, am I going to get tackled? No. I'm not going to lose the ball. If he presses me, I can pass it here instantly, here instantly, here instantly. We were very challenging. When the break point occurs is when the opponent should be dropping back versus going forward. And so here we go. We're just in a strong position to go directly forward. And uh, that's, our, that's our break point. We made a mistake here. I, I went really aggressive at the center back. And I probably should have pulled back. But these are where the game is broke uh, is made. This is where it is. I saw that he didn't switch here. So that's what I'm looking at. I see that he didn't switch, so I was going for it, but um, I missed. But to take risk, you gotta take risk, gotta take risk against those center backs. That's the idea. Here we go. Oh, I doubles. I make the wrong step. I get the. I, I win with RNG, I guess. But all the way to the forward. Patience. Perfect timing. Here we are. I need to do a double move. Ah, yeah, just go for the shot. Which, uh, to be fair, in this scenario, I get a little lucky there. This is where I'm going. One, two, there's that skill move. There's the play. This is a perfect 
run all the way through. That touch was just a little bit incisive, and it needs to be heavy. So it looks like he's playing five at back right now. Um, and that very may well be with Kunde, because and then he might be dropping uh, Havertz back. So this is playing five at back against 900 SR. Hmm. Now you guys are going to see the goods. Here we go. Oh, look at this left stick with Saliba, man. Oh, my God. With Saliba, learn your learn your dribble moves, boys. Learn your left stick. If you can't do this, man, look at this dribble movement. That's just left stick with Saliba, boys. Oh, give him the shimmies. If you guys want to know how to do that stuff, and you guys want come come back to come to my live stream, and I'll give you some tips on player switching and um and uh this uh this left stick, man. Because there's a big difference between being able to do this and then accidentally messing up. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come to the Twitch live stream. But okay, so here we go. Play's coming this way. We're pinching in. We're pinching in. Ah, there it is. Now we need to, we need to play out. Over, or we're going to go direct. We usually go direct right here. So, bang. So that's the decision right there. So that's what I'm, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much me just like, seeing exactly where what where my brain's thinking so the problem is this right here i feel is a little risky with foden so i'm actually gonna try to get oceanman to go this way and then that's where my push is so i don't know if you guys have ever felt this but if i pass it right now it's almost like oceanman will like almost intercept that and go straight to goal and so i wait and i just try to get that connected just a little bit foden's over too too high now all of his players have pushed forward I call soaking the pressure pressures forward now we're in a good spot we turn 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 and now we're rotating all the way down there it is one two incisive creative run oh we barely missed this we barely miss it here so incisive creative run so we're going directly through this position and so what I need to do so this is this is a skill move that I need to learn. I not necessarily need to learn. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. But this is a skill move I need to do in order to get that separation. I need to do this locker cat to cancel or uh, McGeady cancel. I need to do the McGeady cancel backwards uh, to really sell this sell this position. And so I need to get that into here to hit that pass because that's just going to get docked right there so that's unfortunate that's unfortunate very 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 unfortunate but what can you do here we go um i just try to shoot that up that's there's no point to that that was just poor i think i passed the ball and i didn't think i was going to be there here we go is that a foul they call a foul on me oh no they call a foul on them one two all the way to the striker patience incisive okay so this is a double move this is a double creative move creative run so what i'm looking for here is I'm sending it inside and then I'm trying to send it direct. So that's a double, see it's a double creative run there. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There's the win, there's the win. Come on now. There's the position, now it's opening. We're about to open up this lane here. So when you close that down, that's why we close, that's why we actually force this position here. So I take, this position because i didn't want him to hit that now if he was fast enough he could do the uh the the animation cancel so if this is a thousand sr he'd be playing like that he would do that uh so that's sometimes the difference between thousand sr right there is that reaction position and then of course he just tackle spams after we win the ball I love, dude, I love Renato. Look at that movement. Bang, bang. Patience, patience, patience. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so this this is what we're really looking for. If you see this kind of move, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Look how much time I have. Look at this. Look at this. All he had to do is switch and tackle me, right? But if he switches, then I win it. And so, bang, I do this little skill move here, and I try to rip this pass. But this is where if I have, like, Harry Kane here. Mm-mm. 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 If I have Harry Kane, that one's going straight through with incisive, with, with or peeing pass. Uh, one of those that keeps momentum. 
if it's if it's Sophia Smith receiving that, that's first touch or uh or whoever has first touch. Um Ooh, the quick step I break. It's now in the mid middle. We're out in the middle. This is a bad break point. This is a bad place to lose it. So you can see my left wing, I charge my left wing. And the reason why is efficiency here. I lose my efficiency. I I have everything forward. And so now I'm just really care about just uh, just trying to lay time. And so he just sends an over the top ball because he recognized that momentum. But I, uh, I was able to take it away with Sophia Smith, bro. Uh, the, there was that creative run again. And I'm, and, uh, dude, drug bum, man. I just, how much power did I put this time? So I put four bars of power. I'm going like this. Oh, yeah, it's going to hit Smith, isn't it? Yeah, that's unfortunate because it needs to be. So it needs to be like that. That's what I'm aiming for. But I or I think I hit this angle and I need to hit uh, that angle. That's that's what that's where that stuff happens. But. Maybe we get some assistance if we have Harry Kane. I will say that. Maybe we do. Maybe do we do. Maybe we don't. Okay, here we go. Here comes a rotation. So we're in. This is the this is the attacker's gambit right now. We're in that the gambit. He plays the incisive. So he goes straight to level two. I step over the front of it. As you guys know, if you guys watch a lot of my content, you guys know I do not recommend doing this. This is not how I how I try to uh, tackle. This is not usually what I do. But what happened is I pull that player out because I'm anticipating him to come to the ball and go this way. Instead, he receives it, and then he's impatient because he's not expecting me to jump. So this is where being different throughout the game is is important. We just go and we just win that right away. So that's where I made a mistake, but uh, we capitalized on the momentum and then we end up winning the ball into a great spot. Do I finish this? This is where it's just, dude, I just finishing. It's just like, here's the thing about this game. Here's the thing about this game. I am doing the right thing by waiting. Because of how overpowered the goalkeeper's movement are, I, I really don't like to say the game is bad. Because for the most part, the game is actually pretty good. There are some very small instances where there becomes collision buildup, momentum buildup. But in this situation, what I'm doing is I'm expecting him to move the keeper this way. So I'm waiting to take the angle this way to shoot. But he's five at back, so he's taking one, two, three, four, five guys, and he's got just this one right here, just this one. And so what he's going to do here is basically just hard set here and then just hold that position. The problem I have with this is the goalkeeper jumps forward. That gives me a shooting angle. And look at my precision. The, the amount of reflexes this guy has to have from this. So like when I think of this, I think of I think of uh, Kolo Muani in the World Cup. That that moment was the most insane uh, save ever. It was just it was the most insane. But this type of save happens too consistently, in my opinion. Right? There needs there needs to be a shot animation that can go through there that give because I I really the sh the striker has the higher chance I believe there. But then we bang we bang a classic Rodri uh, power shot. Look at this right for Rodri loves it right where Rodri loves it right at the top of the key. Uh, just rips a power shot uh, far uh, far post. So. That's where shooting, I just, sometimes it's just, is very annoying. Um, I, I just think, I think goalkeepers, when, I think what, I think what needs to happen is when the goalkeepers are like this close, their RNG needs to be lower. When it, and then it just needs to be higher as it goes, as it goes out, right? 
that's how I think of it, right? And I know that's kind of the base of it, but right here, it feels like it's too high, and then it feels like it's too low. There, it feels like there's like three levels. It's like high, uh, RNG is high, RNG is low, RNG is uh, high to shoot, to, or to, I guess, uh, or it's supposed to go like that. But then there's actually, it's like uh, RNG for goalkeepers are high, high, low. It's almost, that's how it almost feels like. You can shoot it like, um, but it's, instead of it being high to low or low to high, it's, it's uh, high to low, which is kind of weird in my opinion. Like chip shots. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so watch the cut. So I'm defending the interior. This is what I call level two. Level one is pinching this. So we pinch this. Level two is cutting back. And we pinch the, the cut back essentially here. And so I'm defending both right there. And that's... So if you see... If you actually see this, I double R1 here. And what that does is... I Actually, I think that creates a visual outcome. Because his RNG variables would be significantly... Have been significantly higher had I not hit that. So it probably wouldn't have affected the goalkeeper or like it would not have visually represented as a uh, save like that. And it would have just gone into the net. There's a classic corner. Oh my lord. Ah, uh, corner kicks, man. They are, they are, they are the death of all of us, I guess. Right here. We're waiting. We're waiting for that fullback to overlap. There it is. <clears throat> I'm so you're probably saying, John, why didn't you just hit that? I should have. I should have. But when you get into a game of wit, sometimes it's better to just keep it like this. And I'm up two goals in game theory. So I'm up two goals in game theory, and that's my fullback going forward. So I really need to attack with my fullback. I don't. But I get into a position where I definitely should have just played that through because of how powerful that was, that position. So I split to a diamond back. I, I split to the diamond defense. If you guys have been following a while, I split to our diamond defense to take this forward. There's the aggressive pass direct from Rudiger all the way forward. And then a slicing run. There's the chip. And we get it. And we get it. From here on out, guys, the game kind of... Uh, the game basically gets back and forth, back and forth, back and forth all the way through. If you guys are watching through the entire game, um, I could go through this, but I don't want to necessarily bore you guys. There are some moments in here from pressing, but uh, that's the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.